morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome to Emmanuel United Church of Christ, where we have a passion for God and compassion for all. So today is our percussive Palm Sunday worship service. So what that means is every time you hear the word Hosanna, you're supposed to wave your palms. And then during anything musical, you are just to make as much noise as you possibly can. And during our prayer time, it's going to be a drumming circle. You know, a year ago for holy services, we were only able to have myself and Ari and Carnit and Diane up here for the safety of everyone. What a joy to have a choir and a drummer and soloists. And what a joy that we have people who are making delicious food for us to enjoy during fellowship and all the gifts that we're able to celebrate. The idea during the prayer circle is, is that we're gonna start with a heartbeat and we're gonna take all of our emotions from the past two years, the anger, the fear, the joy, the sadness, the happiness, the questionableness, and we're just gonna act it all out by using our hands and our percussive instruments, and we're gonna make a joyful noise to the Lord by giving everything that's inside of us up to the Holy One. Can we get an amen? Amen. amen. We want to say happy birthday this week to Alan Toker. We want to say thank you for property, for the beautiful flowers that are outside. If you haven't noticed, we have some gorgeous purple and blue and yellow and white flowers that have been planted. We also want to bring your attention that we have numerous gifted people in our congregation. One of those people is Miss Carol, who's sitting in the back, who, if you had the opportunity to read Saturday's paper, she's done an amazing collection of the history of Sebring and Highlands County. If you get a chance, please pick that up and read it. And Carol, thank you for sharing your writing skills with us because history is so important. Um, as some of you know, yesterday was the Philippines Day of Valor. Some people may know about this day, some people may not, but the Philippines Day of Valor is an event that took place April 9th, 1942, in which both American troops and Chinese troops and Filipino troops were captured and they were forced to go on a march for 93 miles to a prisoner camp. It was a torturous march in which many of the men did not survive. Many of the men died while marching there. Many of them became dehydrated, became really sick. And yet their faith and their courage did not leave. This is a day that not only do people celebrate in the Philippines, but there's actually a city in Illinois that celebrates this day as well. And it was also known as the former POW Remembrance Day. So we certainly want to remember the people who lost their lives during that time. And we certainly want to remember all of our prisoners of war. With that being shared, we'd like to remind everyone today's the last day to guess how many jelly beans are in the jars. And today is the last day for the Beard Campaign. Now, I know last week I gave some numbers. They were off by about $900. But we right now are at a point where me, Tracy, Steve, and Kim will all be clean shaven on Sunday. If we get about $900 more, then Larry Bob will be the next person to be baby faced. <laughs> Today is the last day to donate towards that. With that being said, let me hear you make a joyful noise with your instrument. Amen. Now, the one instrument we asked you to not play today is your cell phone. So if you can turn your cell phone off or into silent. And let us all rise together as we have the opportunity to unite our voices and to continue our percussive worship service.
give it up for Paul, who is stepping in as our drummer today. Thank you, Ben. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Look, your king has come to you. Triumphant and victorious is he. Christ's dominion is from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. Goodness and beauty belong to God, giving grain to make us flourish and new grapes to make us strong. We are like the jewels of Christ's crown. Our love and compassion will shine across the land. Is a melody within our heart. Let us turn to our neighbors and safely extend to them a sign of grace and peace. And knowing that 
we have people watching from around the world as Faye and Evan are literally in Paris at this moment. Let us turn and extend to them and everyone else watching a sign of peace and grace. Amen. And you may face forward. Christ is our advocate, leading us to the light of righteousness. No matter what tragic mistakes we make, we could take them before Jesus and lay them at his feet. Let us now enter into a time of silent reflection. And knowing that our hearts beat with the gift of forgiveness, let us join together to say, The Lord listens to our hearts, forgives our sins, and shines upon us. We are surrounded by grace and not forgotten. Amen. You may be seated. After 12 years of being here, this is traditionally the time in which I ask that you join me in a moment of unified prayer. 
But instead, we're going to ask that you please create a spirit by making unified noise. You all pleasantly surprised me. I figured there'd be like 10 seconds. You just all kept going and going. That is awesome. So it is, amen, amen. You know what? It is so good to be here today. And I'll be honest with you, Palm Sunday has always been one of the strangest days for me because I've never quite understood this whole let's wave palms and be happy and celebratory when we know the person we're welcoming in is the same person who is going to severely suffer. But if there's something that has taken place over the past two years, it is feeling like COVID has started to make some sense about why some of these things matter and why we do the things we do. And so today is not designed to be a mournful day because we've spent two years mourning. Today is designed to be a joyful time in which we can make as much noise as we possibly want, knowing that Thursday we're gonna gather here. We're going to have a foot washing. We're going to participate in the Last Supper. And then we're gonna go through the service of Tenebrae, which is the darkening of the sanctuary. And you know, over the past few weeks, we have discussed so many things through the Gospel of John. We've talked about what are the things Jesus has said? What are the things that Jesus has done? What are the titles that Jesus has been given? What does the kingdom of heaven look like? If you remember last week, we talked about don't be afraid to feel good and feeling good about being happy and today it's like all those themes are coming together as one. Today we have the opportunity to shout. Yeah. We get to shout out Hosanna. Today we get to smile and we get to cheer. We get to celebrate and we get to welcome the great shepherd, the sight giver, the storm calmer, the heavenly servant, the king, Jesus Christ. After three years of ministry, three years of feedings upon a mountaintop, three years of restoring relationships, three years of saying, pick up your mat and walk, Jesus, Emmanuel, the living I am, has made his way into Jerusalem to face the powers that be, to experience injustice head on, and to rise from the grave, proving once and for all that the word cannot be silenced, the word cannot be censored, and the word cannot be scared off. And ultimately, the word of God cannot be destroyed. And while the world assumed power can only come from mighty deeds and weapons of mass destruction, today, what Jesus Christ is showing us is that all God needs is branches culled from a tree, a humble donkey, a song of praise, and a gathering of people who believe. In a world that assumed power comes from having more, 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 Jesus embodies the teaching that the kingdom of God needs less and less. In a world that says in order to be successful, you must be able to dine on lobster and steak, what Jesus has taught us over these three years is that the truth is having stew that has been lovingly made by your mom with a ton of potatoes is enough. The actions of Jesus today shows us that humility is strength 
And that joy actually becomes the balm for a weary soul. That songs of Hosanna can silence all of the naysayers. Here we have today Jesus on a borrowed donkey, welcomed with palms, picked off the side of the road. And yet he is more king than Caesar on a mighty steed. He is more king than Pilate with a massive army, and he is greater than any of Egypt's pharaohs. Today is the day in which we have the opportunity to come together and to join the great crowd of all those who came before, and all those who are here right now, and all of those who will come long after we are gone to shout and to sing Hosanna, which means God saves. Today is the day in which we have the opportunity to say, do not be afraid. No matter what happens next, do not be discouraged. And no matter what kind of crosses you're going to face this week, do not give up hope. Because the dawning of a brand new age is just about to begin. And perhaps what we can love the most about today's reading, do you all realize that Jesus doesn't say a single word? Jesus doesn't say a single thing. And Jesus doesn't have to. Because for the past three years, we've watched how his words and his actions and his acts of service has said it all and has said everything that needs to be said. So today's sermon is going to be really short. Because if Jesus didn't speak that much, we don't need to either. So we're going to end with the words of Psalm 118. Let us give thanks to the Lord, for God is so good. Let us give thanks to the Lord, for God's steadfast love endures forever. Out of our years of distress, we have called upon the Lord, and God has answered. Can we get an amen? amen. Out of years of distress, we have called upon the Lord, and the Lord has answered. With the Lord on our side, what can mortals do to us? With the Lord on our side, we can look around in triumph. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God, and God has given us light. In other words, we are gathered here today because we are not afraid to feel good. And because we will not apologize for being happy. And because of that, we can wave our palms and we can shout and we can sing, Hosanna, 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 Amen. Amen. Now comes the fun part. Grab your instruments. And you're going to take two years worth of emotions. Two years worth of worry and fear and anxiety. <coughs> Whoops. You're also going to take your feelings of joy that you may be having, that things are slowly returning to normal. You may have feelings of joy for family. You may have feelings of sorrow for family. You may have stress about what's going on in the Ukraine. You may be from Avon Park and you're angry as heck because of what the hailstorms have done to your home. We are going to use our hands to express our emotions and to offer them up to God. And what we're first going to do is we're going to start with a simple heartbeat. We're going to play however it's going to sound. We're going to go really loud at some point. And then when it's time, we're just going to bring it down and bring it back to a really soft hush. But I'll never forget in seminary when we did a drum circle. And one of the classmates, Jeff Nelson, talked about 
we all have an instrument in our body, and that is our heart.
ABC. to the end of our percussive Palm Sunday worship service, we want to give thanks for everyone who joyfully participated, and as you'll notice, that even Left Shark made an appearance once or twice today, because he just wanted to be in on the fun. A reminder to everyone that Monday, Thursday, really, really special service. We're doing something that I've actually never done in my entire life before, which is... We're doing, um, everything okay? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. I thought maybe I had skipped something. Or no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a foot washing. I have never actually participated in a foot washing in my entire life. So that's going to be from 615 to 645 in the narthex. 
Larry, Bob, Diane, and myself will be the people washing feet of those who wish to have them washed. If you don't want them washed, you can come in after 6.45 or just politely say, not today, but thank you. Our, pop, our Monday, Thursday service um, is at seven o'clock next Thursday, this Thursday. It's a really um, special, special service. And then Easter next week. Um, Alan will be coming in around 9.15 to shave off my beard. So anyone who wants to watch that, you can. Uh, be prepared because this face is gonna look completely different. Again, hats, 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 hats. Everyone who wears a hat, man, woman, doesn't matter what, as long as it's on top of your head, Cynthia is gonna donate a dollar towards the general fund. But we also want to encourage you, shoes, high heels, suits, gloves, whatever you can do that makes you feel really good about yourself. And a way of saying no matter what COVID has taken from us, COVID has not taken away our sense of joy. And we want to remind everyone that today is the last day for the Beard Campaign. So we're just about $900 away from Larry Bob being the face. If we could make that possible, that would be so wonderful. Thank you for our guest drummer today. We have, um, thank you for our guest musicians today who blessed us with music and songs. And we have a delicious treat for you in Fellowship Hall. We have blueberry dessert. We have chocolate and walnuts desserts. We have orange desserts. So please make sure you stop in the Fellowship Hall and get yourself a treat, even if it's to take with you home in your car. Now with that being said, let us rise for the benediction. And I ask that you extend your hand so you're able to bless us as we bless you. As we prepare to leave this holy space and this holy time, may we go out into God's beautiful world knowing that we have a melody within our hearts. And as long as our heart beats, may we be able to continuously praise our Lord through acts of justice by being kind and walking humbly with our Creator. And may everyone say, Amen. Thank you.